Hey everyone, it's me Doomlink and welcome back to Doomlink's Random Hunts. It is currently part 65 for my video series and it is the 4th of February 2020 as I'm recording this. I came on at a slightly more convenient time for myself because there are as many as 20 people online in the game at the moment. That's astounding. Uh, basically, it's a time of day where some Europeans are still awake and most of the US is still awake. <coughs> So therefore, I am able to hunt with more people, which is a good thing. Uh, sometimes when I do tune in to the... Well, tune in is a bit of a weird thing to say. Uh, sometimes when I do log into the servers of this game, there are maybe five people playing. So 20 by comparison is pretty good. It's, it was actually 18 when I was looking before, but I'm trying to round it up for the benefit of this game. You know, maybe it looks better on paper to have 20 than 18. But anyway, I'm going to put away this stuff. It seems that I've got uh, some... Uh, what's he called? Ivory. Yeah, I had completely forgotten his name for a second. I'm like, I laggy. What's I stand for again? <laughs> anyway, um, here we go. Just organizing my inventory a little bit. I'm going to need to organize it because we are fighting the invisible predator who happens to be... Uh, what's his face? Lucent Nagakuga. I really can't get my thoughts going today. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we are, yes, fighting a Lucent Nagakuga. I'm pretty sure that his weakness is ice because I have memories of using ice weapons against him in the past. So we're just going to go ahead and assume his weakness is ice, hoping that I was not being an idiot in the past. And I'm pretty sure that I was not being an idiot in the past. So we should be all good. We have a pretty good team here. We do have a Hunter Rank Triple Nine. And I don't know what that is supposed to mean. Coco, Coco. I don't. I really have no idea. But anyway, uh, Mirabelle seems to be a pretty laid-back Hunter Rank Triple Nine, as some of you may very well be aware. There are some completely retarded people that exist in the high levels in terms of Hunter Rank in pretty much any Monster Hunter game. But in this game, particularly, there are some real nut jobs. And this, again, this person seems perfectly fine. Um, I am pretty sure that Lucent Nagakuga does have a much greater range to his raw as compared to other versions of Nagakuga. Or other species of Nagakuga would be a better thing to say. Let's just get our charge up. We're not going to do the Demon Dance. I mean, Demon Dance is alright, but it is actually the worst for getting your charge up. Best for damage, worst for charge. Well, not necessarily the best for damage. It's only the best for damage if you're consistent with it. Because I believe most of the damage, or perhaps not most of the damage, but let's uh, say, for example, half of the damage that you deal with Demon Dance is the actual final hit. And I believe that is by design, because it's obviously not that easy if you don't position yourself correctly in accordance with the movements of the monster to get a full Demon Dance animation out. Because you're stuck in one place for quite some time, so... Yeah, it makes sense that they would have the final hit be quite uh, damaging. The reason why I think that it's quite damaging is because usually it flinches the monster and I have oftentimes killed monsters with that final hit. So I do think it has some pretty good damage to it. Guys, can we please get into the trap? Because these bombs are just going to explode very soon. And the fact that they didn't explode right there is a fucking miracle. Can we please get into the trap? Please, guys. Like, I'm not asking for much. And there go the bombs. The only reason why I wanted to do that was so that we could not have the bombs be wasted. Now we can pretty much use the trap whenever we so desire. But the point is, and that's probably going to be never. Oh, now Mirabelle wants to line up with the trap. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Well, perhaps she just happened to be near the trap. Again, I'm demon dancing at the worst possible time. Kind of ignoring my own advice. But anyway. Need to get into the game a little bit. Uh, the Classic Controller Pro, which I'm currently using to play the game, is regrettably not the most comfortable controller for Monster Hunter for me at this stage because I have not been playing Monster Hunter with this controller as much lately. So I do need to get back into it whenever I do start playing the game with this controller. It needs a bit of a one or two quest break in, you know. I have not broken it in at all. I did not have the stamina to get out of there, and of course that is one of the issues with dual blades. It does eat at your stamina, so you can find yourself in bad situations where you just can't really get out of them. Because again, you just don't have the stamina, and I think I had uh, similar situations occur in my previous Random Hunts video in Freedom Unite. My throat is a little bit, uh, well, non-cooperative at the moment, so... 
If I have to go silent to clear it from time to time, you will have to uh, forgive me for that. I do believe that this trap is going to go unused, and I have to say that one thing about traps, and I do understand why people have this perspective, some people do think that traps are a little bit of a waste of time. You know, generally the higher level people who think that it's better to just deal damage to the monster without taking the time to line up with a trap while not hitting the monster, it sort of da it affects your DPS I suppose, is the idea behind it. But the way that I look at it is that if everyone stopped being fucking stupid and just lined up with the trap, it would be a very quick process that would not have much of a negative impact on DPS. But again, because everyone wants to be a fucking nuisance about it. Like in this case. Indeed, it's not going to be easy to get the monster in the trap, because no one's coordinated in that way. But if everyone's coordinated, he'd be in the trap in less than 10 seconds. Guaranteed. Especially this particular monster who is quite pursuant. Oh no. Okay, well fortunately he did not carry out that, uh, that tail slam maneuver. I do have mind's eye on this set. I haven't really gone through my skills for you with this set, so I would guarantee that most of you probably haven't seen it before. You're probably thinking that it's not the most attractive set in the world, and it's not in reality, but um, it's, it's about the skills, man, not about the looks. I'm not a fashion hunter. I mean, I have been in the past a fashion hunter, but uh, only in certain games. Uh, the game where I was <coughs> most fashion hunter was uh, Monster Hunter 3 Try. And that was because there was nothing to do in that game, so... Oh, are we lining up with the trap now? Is it convenient to you to line up with the trap? Apparently not, because someone went and uh, flashbombed. Of course, uh, people are running slime weapons because they are the most effective, and it makes me wonder how someone at Hunter Rank 999, and this is not necessarily intended as a criticism, but it's more of just a, a thought that, or an observation that I can't really understand these sorts of people, but if you're Hunter Rank 999, why would you use slime weapons because they're the most effective? Because there's no other real reason to use slime weapons, they're all the fucking same, in the sense that they deal the same sort of status, they all look the same because they're Brachydeos weapons, and you've played the game to Hunter Rank Triple Nine and you continue to use slime weapons. I, I find that, of course, the only reason why you would do it at that point is uh, for the fact that slime weapons are just generally effective. And at that point, it makes me wonder, like, why do you care about being at maximum effectiveness when you're at Hunter Rank Triple Nine? Because, I mean, at that point, you find more creative ways to be very effective in hunts instead of just slapping on the <laughs> Bracky Dio's dual blades. I mean, I don't know. Again, it's less criticism and more an observation of something that I just don't understand. But, uh, whatever. I mean, sure, I will use slime weapons from time to time, but there are people who seriously just go Brachydeos dual blades and that's it, and they will do that for hundreds and hundreds of hours of gameplay in this game. Because the Brachydeos dual blades are just really good, they're one of the best weapons in the game, obviously. Because dual blades are just generally really good for DPS. And if you're running a slime weapon that, you know, dual blade weapon type hits the monster very often, slime weapon, and slime is freaking broken as a status in this game, well, of course, the Brachydeos dual blades are going to work really well for you, but it, you'd think you'd get sick of it after you've played the game for over a thousand hours, which is, I don't know how many hours are required to get to Hunter Rank Triple Nine. Let's say minimum hours. I'd say definitely minimum hours would be a thousand. Um... Perhaps not, and that's probably not accurate, I'd say if you were grinding 4 point formation you could probably do it in 300, but still, that's probably not realistic, I would say most people are around the 1000 mark when they're at Hunter Rank 999. To put it in perspective, I'm Hunter Rank 360 or so, and I'm at 1000, so, you know, that's because I don't grind 4 point formation. But, uh, and I did actually record a video, again, I shouldn't be lining up with the trap because no one else is. I'll just fucking continue attacking the monster. Let's get our charge up, shall we? If we can manage that. It's not getting in the trap annoyingly. Uh, the attack that I'm doing here is best for, or the combo that I'm doing rather, is best for getting charge up. It is just the X combo. And A is the second best. A is really good because it doesn't keep you in one place for a long time. Basically, the um, the X combo keeps you in place rather similarly to the Demon Dance, but it's a lot more effective in getting your charge up. So if you can manage to get the full combo out, you will go from zero to full um, charge if you can 
actually hit the monster with every single hit, or every single attack that you deal. Whereas the A attack, where it's sort of like a, uh, again, I don't have the words to really describe it, I guess it's sort of like a, a spinning side manoeuvre with the dual blades, that probably can fill up three quarters of your charge from zero if you make contact with all of your attacks. And uh, the benefit of that attack, however, is that it lasts the least amount of time, and you get into it immediately. It's, it's something that you can do while being relatively mobile with the weapon type, so... Yeah. I don't have the stamina. <laughs> I mean, I technically had the stamina at that time, but I was trying to be conservative with it because I was in demonized mode. Anyway. I think Lucent Nagakuka will be dead pretty soon. I have not been extremely... Uh, let's go for a capture, shall we? Never mind. We have used too many shock traps. So I can't get the tranks out in time. Uh, but anyway, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, I was. I have not been amazing in this hunt. I've not been like chasing the monster down and hitting it like no tomorrow. I guess I've been spending a lot of time. How many traps are you going to put down? Like, with all due respect, it's. There's a point where putting down a shock trap is a waste of time, and we're approaching that now, <laughs> because they're not lasting long. And uh, certainly, if you're going for a capture, it's going to be really hard. Okay, get in it, get in it. I can't really make it, because... Oh no, we managed it. Uh, if they didn't want to go for the capture, that's fair enough, but... The way that I look at it is that I almost never capture monsters in this area. If they didn't want to capture, they will get upset, probably. Is it better to kill or... To, oh, Brandon is completely confused as to what's going on. Yeah, he's obviously very unimpressed that we went for a capture. Um, why he is so incredibly unimpressed, I don't know. Or perhaps because he is Spanish. I think he's um, Spanish. Perhaps because he's Spanish, he just... He has to use uh, five times the number of question marks and ex exclamation marks whenever he does type, which I have noticed to be a rather Spanish thing to do, uh, or Spanish-speaking thing to do. But, uh, regardless. If he's not happy with it, he can kick me, how about that? I mean, kicking someone for capturing a Lucent Nagakuga might be a, a bit of a drastic course of action, but I wouldn't put it past the players of this game, I can tell you that much. But anyway, I don't know what the purpose is in this hunt for this person. Is it to get cloudy moon shards? I don't know. I didn't get one, but that's okay. I don't really need any. Again, checking to see if I have 99 of any of these items, and I don't, so we're all good. Okay. Will I actually get kicked? Possibly. I certainly... Look, there is about a 50-50 chance that I will be kicked for that, and some of you are probably thinking, those of you who are less familiar with how this game works, you're probably thinking, that's crazy. Mirabelle just left, so it's possible that Brandon will also leave, because I think they're friends. So maybe they'll both leave, and then they'll party up together. <laughs> Why is everyone just communicating with question marks? I don't understand it. Anyway, maybe we won't get kicked out of this room just because the host will leave. That's just something that I can guess, but... I mean, some of you probably think I'm being very worst-case scenario and very dramatic, but... The people who are dramatic are the players of this game, not me. I'm just anticipating their dramatic reactions to rather small situations. Because I've had to endure it a number of times. But anyway. I, again, don't really know the the drop rates of Lucent Nagakuga. Generally, capture is better for rare items, but that's definitely not the case all the time. So maybe it's better to get... Uh, Cloudy Moonshot. <laughs> okay, so in the end I was kicked from that room because the guy's like, who fucking captured Lucent Naga Cougar? And I said, that would be me. And I was met with a disconnect <laughs> immediately. Um, that's the kind of rage that you get in this game, unfortunately, with the current community and the community that has always existed in this game, quite frankly. Uh, every single game after try has been a little, a little bit of a mess in that regard. But anyway, he was obviously so incredibly upset 
Why he would be so incredibly upset, I don't know. But he then closed the room about two minutes later. Or one minute later, probably. But uh, anyway, we're in a new room now. This is a Hunter Rank 8 Plus room. This is the only one that's currently up in the game. Because the rest are high rank rooms. And yeah, unfortunately they're on a quest at the moment. So I will wait until they return. And hopefully the next quest will be rather fast. Because I don't really want to be recording for too much longer in this video. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we're in the next hunt. Alright, I have been rewarded for my patience, ladies and gentlemen. I had to wait for about 10 minutes for these guys to return from the quest, but... They said that it was my turn when they came back, so... Guess what we're doing? Abyssal Laggy. And the reason why is because one of the few things that I need in this game at this point is... An Abyssal Laggy Dynamo. And that is so that I can upgrade my Lance. My Abyssal Laggy Lance. Now, what I'm going to need is, uh, yep, so we've got Bone Husk L. I'm going to need some Dragon Fell Berries, because I am going to be shooting Dragon, of course. It's the best way to approach this fight, if you want to do as much damage within a short space of time. Uh, should I get air filters? Probably not necessary, but I'll bring them anyway. Uh, air filter. I have Mega Air Filter, apparently. That's completely unnecessary. Um, what else can I bring? So I can bring uh, Fire Herbs. And I'm starting to run out of space, but this should be okay because I think, yeah, we've got uh, flaming in there. And then I need to also put dragon into my inventory. Hold on. Dragon shots, wherever you may be. Do I not have any? I think these are dragon. Yes. Excellent. And then fire I do not have in my inventory for some freaking reason. Actually, I can buy them. That's why I don't have them in my inventory. Or not in, not in my inventory, sorry, in my box. Of course, you've got inventory and then you've got box storage and such. Okay, so I'm going to top up husk berries just for the sake of it. And then also top up flaming. And then I think we should be good. There's not really much else that I need to do here. I've got um, pretty much all the shots that I need. We should be good for this hunt. And uh, all we need is to not have people die. Because if people die, that's going to be a sad time. But if we can manage to kill this thing before three people die, I'll be very happy. Again, it's just a chance at a dynamo as well. It's not like it's a guaranteed drop. But I think uh, it's possibly easier to fight the monster that you want the rare item from every now and then. Because it feels like there's less effort going into getting the rare item. Because you'll get it even doing that. Grinding can sometimes not be ideal. But if you obviously want the thing as soon as possible, it's best to grind. But if you're like me and you're not really playing the game very often... This works perfectly fine as well. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wait until Geordie gets into the quest and is ready to go, and I'll see you guys when we are departing on the quest. And we are off. We'll see what happens here. I don't really have too many expectations, because these guys are running fire weapons. Of course, Abyssal's main elemental weakness is dragon. Fire works too, but just not as well. Regardless, let's see what we've got. I'm going to load my dragon momentarily. I'm actually going to position myself here. Of course, I don't want to be shooting while Laggy's roaring anyway, because then it'll cancel one of my rapid shots. That's definitely not what I want. I'm getting hit already, which is not a good start, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to top up my health, because it is very important that I do that, otherwise I am going to be at risk of death. I don't have too much defense for this fight. Alright, so I'm not really going to be aiming my shots so much. Hip firing is generally okay. Alright, he's going to roar, that's fine. I'm going to combine in threes, I'm not going to combine when I have one shot left or anything like that, because I want to limit the number of times that I'm actually reloading. Uh, that should be fine, yep. Okay. Now we will combine our dragon, and reload, without getting hit by this guy, of course. So hopefully, once we have shot all of our dragon and flaming shots, we will have dealt enough damage to kill this guy. Of course, I don't mean that I myself would ha will have dealt the damage to kill him, but I mean the entire team at that point will have dealt the damage. Likely before I expend my flaming shots, ideally, actually. Not likely. Well, I would say that it's likely, but it's also partially my wishful thinking. Of course, uh, trying to play safe here. I will get, get hit here, probably, or not. Now I'm probably going to get hit. Okay, I'm hip-firing with poor accuracy. I really need to try a little harder. 
because it really does hurt to miss a shot with this uh, shot time. Now the reason why I did just go for the attack there is because there is a good chance that you're going to flinch or break something, or flinch the monster and break something with this shot type. It just deals so much damage, especially when the monster itself has such a weakness to dragon. So yeah, okay, that is a better hip fire, or not actually, because I missed a lot of that. Okay. I don't think anyone is aiming for the tail, sadly. That really does help for getting dynamos, but that's alright. The annoying thing here is that <laughs> the number of shots that I'm given here is not a multiple of three, evidently. So I will have one left over. Yeah, come on, mate. I want you to move out of there. Because I know he's going to. And I don't want to be there to take the hit. Alrighty, let's get in there. Or not. He's gonna do this business again. Shit. Oh, fucking hell! It's great when bad connection results in that. <laughs> Hopefully you guys felt for me with that one, because it really hurts to miss three shots of dragon. Technically one shot, and technically three. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. Technically one or the other. But anyway, we've got our last dragon shot, then we'll be moving on to flaming. We will need to be pretty close range with flaming to be effective with it. Of course, uh, elemental shots do not have their effectiveness um, scale with critical distance. However, underwater, at a certain distance, you will just have the shots disappear. And elemental shots have even less range. So... It's important to be very close to the monster with elemental shots underwater, is basically the point. Otherwise they'll just disappear. Oh dear. I don't know where you're going because you're lagging. Am I close enough? Yes. Can I back? No, I was hoping that that was going to be a back roll. That was not a back roll at all. I don't know why I even thought that it would be, to be honest. It's my stupidity, I suppose. Don't know what kind of damage is being dealt by these guys. Is one of them ranged because... No. I'm the only ranged person. I'm just not seeing that many people fighting the monster, to be honest. I mean, it could just be me, but... I usually only see one person, maximum two, at the monster at any given time. Which is not really ideal, but whatever. I think this is too far away. Yeah, that's too far away. How about that? There we go. That's not too bad. Distance-wise, that is acceptable. Uh-oh, going to get hit by that. I love the number of shots that you can shoot of flaming with this gun. It's just a great gun for this particular confrontation. Shoots a lot of flaming and also is the best gun for dragon shots. I do apologize for the poor connection, by the way. These guys are likely in Europe. So, really... Not a great connection. Damn it. Let's get out of that. Never mind. Good flinch. Let's get these shots out as swiftly as possible. Here we go. Here is an opportunity to deal some damage. This is what I like to see. Might actually aim my shots for once. I was wanting to do a animation cancel on my reload, but oh well. So we have broken the Shell Shocker. That is a good elemental weak point that I should be aiming for, but am not. So. Whoa. That is rough. Of course, I am talking about the band connection. Look, as long as I don't disconnect, I don't care. Because if I disconnect, I'm not going to be soloing this thing. Actually, I should solo the thing if I do disconnect, because I think we've dealt enough damage at this point where I could actually solo him with the rest of my flaming at this stage. I really do think that. Alright, let's reposition. And then we want to go to this side. I 
Of course, evading the attacks of any monster underwater is made a lot harder because of the underwater scenario, but when you've got a monster like Abyssal Laggy who is well and truly at home underwater, it is very frustrating at times. But there are certain techniques you can employ to evade efficiently and effectively, I should say, not efficiently. To evade effectively, and I would like to think that I'm demonstrating that now, but... <laughs> Or was demonstrating that before. I meant now as in, in this hunt. Anyway. You do your thing, Abyssal. I know he's coming after me. Thank you for not uh, continuing in another direction. I'm going to try and get these shots in. Didn't get any of them. But that's alright. Because he's constantly swimming around, it is hard for me to get all of my shots off. So in that way, it can be easier to solo, but still. Hopefully my inability to shoot him frequently is being, uh, how do I say, balanced out by the fact that other people are hitting him. Where is that Paralysis Tabo show? Like, what's happening, man? <laughs> no, I won't accuse him of that. He's probably not having... The best uh, DPS scenario at the moment. To start with, he's using Longsword underwater. Longsword is not the best underwater weapon, I have to say. That was a weird hit there, which I, I that's probably related to connection. but Not the fact that I got hit, but the fact that it was so delayed was probably related to bad connection. My stomach is rumbling. I need to eat soon. <laughs> Whoa, that was a very laggy spin. Get it? Laggy spin? Laggy uh, <gasps> Yeah. Alright, please die now. You should be dead, actually. I mean, yes, I could be performing slightly better, but you should be dead. There we go, there goes the horns. I don't believe the breaking... Actually, I think the horns do help to get dynamos. I think so. I think it's the horns and the tail. Not so much the tail for rewards, but the tail for carving, yes. Now, I have carver high. Does that give me an extra carve on the body? I think so. Which is obviously going to help me out a lot. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. I don't need PLs. I have plenty of those, I can tell you. A laggy shard. I'll be removing my potion stack if I do carve a dynamo. I would. I obviously have 99 laggy talons, like regular laggy talons. Okay, so I didn't carve a dynamo, but that's not the end of the world, ladies and gentlemen. We have broken the horns, and I am absolutely sure that that is going to contribute to a dynamo in the rewards, but I'm pretty sure breaking the shell shocker does not. Or the back, depending on how you want to say that. But yeah, hopefully this video didn't end up being too long. But anyway. What have we got? Dynamo, dynamo, dynamo. Come on, baby. Fuck yes! Look at this. Fuck yes. Do you know how long it has been? I mean, I have not been persistently fighting this guy, okay? I have not been persistently fighting Abyssal, but it has taken me like a year and a half to two years to get this dynamo. Probably longer, you know. Because I seriously, like, that last dynamo, and this was it. I keep forgetting that this was it. Back when I was fighting Abyssal Laggy regularly, I was having, a, like, particular trouble with one dynamo. And I still hadn't gotten that one until now. So it's probably been closer to three years, maybe, that it has taken me to get this dynamo. God damn it. That is a happy time. I can finally upgrade my fucking laggy lance. Abyssal laggy lance. That is really exciting, and I'm elated, to say the least. That Today has been a good day, ladies and gentlemen. The rest of my day could be terrible, but this will... Okay, let's not say that. I don't want a terrible day today. <laughs> but, um, you know, no matter what, let's say that uh, the rest of my day is completely uneventful and I don't get anything done. This will make up for that.
because I have gotten a lot done by getting that fucking dynamo. I'm very happy, ladies and gentlemen, that I have that VE Deluxe ticket. That's not very exciting, but hey, uh, we're going to get rid of those laggy talons because I don't need them. Uh, I'm also going to remove or sell. Not the dynamo, don't worry. <laughs> um, we're going to find my laggy across parts, wherever they are. That's not them. Where might they be? Here we go. So we're going to find Talon. Here we go. We're going to remove the new stack that it has made. This is what I'm trying to avoid because as you can probably see over here, I do not have many stacks available. So yeah. Anyway, I'm actually going to leave this room because I'm not going to be hunting anymore today. So I mean, it would be nicer to say goodbye to them, but hey, obviously I'm not a very nice person. We're going to go to the marina and make ourselves a fully upgraded Abyssal Laggy Lance, which once again I've been wanting to do for a long time. I never should have, there are certain weapons that I should not have made in the Abyssal Laggy Acris path, and the Switch Axe was one of them. It's just not a very good weapon in my opinion, and yet I made that, but not the Lance. I think part of the reason was because I was not using the Lance weapon type, but anyway. I'm going to equip the armor set, and we're going to make the lance right here on camera which is dragging on the video i do understand but hey i don't care at this point it's worth it nether war lance finally we can make the nether terracontia and i've had that uh, zenoga sky Marauder for a while as well look at this beautiful weapon this has to be one of my favorite weapon designs in the entire series it is fucking cool look at that thing it's a giant blade for a lance it's beautiful. I love the shield as well. It's just such a cool weapon. And I'm glad I finally have it fully upgraded. Why it took me this long, I could never really tell you. But point is, I finally got it and it's really cool. So I think I now probably have all of the nether weapons. Let's check. So I have the... Oh, I don't think I have the heavy bow gun because I never really cared about... Okay, I have all of them except the heavy bow gun. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I was going to say I never really cared about pellet, and uh, it's a very good pellet heavy burger. So yeah, I do thank you all for watching. This has been part 65, I believe. It should still be part 65, unless it really was getting too long, I don't know. But uh, assuming that it is still part 65, I will see you guys in part 66 for Doomlings Random Hunts. It is once again the 4th of February 2020 as I'm recording this, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.